I look at 24 kids we've indicted for, for murder. It's not working. So we, we do need to change. And Bernalillo County District Attorney Sam Bregman says he is ready to bring that change to Santa Fe. He unveiled a sweeping set of proposed changes to our state's juvenile justice laws just this morning, three months before our state lawmakers go back to the roundhouse. Griffin Rushton joins us now to break down how DA Bregman is hoping to finally turn the tide, Griffin, on this teen crime problem we have in Albuquerque. Well, he says it's all about making sure their consequences. Law enforcement leaders say it's clear many youthful offenders in our community know they won't be seriously punished for the serious crimes they commit. Admit, and D.A. Bregman says the numbers are startling. Bregman says his office has received more than 1,400 juvenile cases since he took office last January. That includes 24 murders, 42 rapes, and nearly 500 cases involving guns in some capacity. Now, Bregman says there are at least 119 felony juvenile gun cases this year alone. As the D.A., I'm confident in saying overall crime is starting, and this is no victory lap, starting to go in the right direction. Juvenile crime is going in the absolute wrong direction. Bregman says it's hard to pinpoint exactly what's driving our youth to commit more violent crimes. Social media is likely a big factor here, but Bregman and other law enforcement leaders also believe the Children's Code, New Mexico's juvenile justice laws, are outdated and aren't providing the guardrails they're supposed to. We did not have the kind of murder rates for juveniles that we, back in 1993, the last time it was, it was updated. We didn't have these kind of issues. We didn't have kids running down, driving down the road in a Kia with a, with a bag of fentanyl on the, on the front passenger seat, of their friend in the back seat videoing as they shoot out the window at a house. I mean, like I said, the iPhone wasn't even invented the last time this was updated. So we. We've got to we've got to come into the time. And D.A. Bregman is leading that charge. His office developed a list of 36 changes they want state lawmakers to make in the Children's Code, all aimed at increasing the consequences for serious crimes, while also making sure youthful offenders get the help they need before it's too late. Now, most of the proposed changes are technical revisions, but there are some big ones, including expanding the definition of serious youthful offender, essentially adding crimes to the list where juveniles can be charged as adults. There's also a plan to extend the current juvenile handgun restrictions to all firearms, unseal juvenile records during adult case hearings, and increasing the jurisdiction of youthful offenders from 21 to 25 years old, basically ensuring some violent teen criminals would stay behind bars an extra four years. Expanding that to 25 makes a tremendous amount of sense, and not because we want to necessarily keep everybody into 25, but we need to give these young people the necessary treatment. We need to give them the counseling they need. We need to give them the opportunity to get on the right path. Now, there's a lot more proposed changes to talk about, and we're going to break all of them down on this weekend's Eye on New Mexico. But this is not up to the district attorney's office to make these changes. State lawmakers have to sign off on them. Speaker of the House Javier Martinez says he's still reviewing all of Bregman's proposed changes. However, he agrees juvenile crime is a serious issue in Albuquerque and suggests there is an appetite for change in Santa Fe. The reality is that we have to modernize the Children's Code. It's been well over 20 years since the last time it was touched. Um, and we have to be able to keep up with what's happening today. The 60 day legislative session is just about three months away. And that's when we're going to find out if all these proposed changes will actually move forward. Tessa, Trevor.